Unfortunately, this clip shows just how big the gap is between the left's worldview and the right's worldview. Michael Knowles has to explain to this room full of teachers and college students this kindergarten concept. You are using your statistics for your own agenda, and that's your I'm, I'm citing statistics because they're true. I'm talking about the fact that I am, I'm faculty here. I also support our support our, um, protester in the back. What do you support specifically? Do you, do you think that anti-immigrant rhetoric is violent free speech? Well, yes, because of the you, reasons that You think that, that speech is violence? Uh, no, I think that That's the, what that sign says. The conversation that you're having is oppressive. It, um, and so it I am oppressing people by what I'm doing. So I, am, I am exerting violence on people by my speech. It that's what the sign says, and that's what you just said. It contributes to And the protester is saying that's exactly what I'm doing, and she's saying that's exactly what her sign means. So that means that you, a faculty member at an American public university, paid for by taxpayer dollars, are conflating speech with violence. Yes. Um, speech can be violent. What you are saying contributes to systemic racism in this country. It means that my students of color are pulled over and accused of stealing a car when they did not. I'm not pulling anybody over for stealing I'm any not cars. I, that you I see many did. people of many different races in this room. I, I, they all seem to be doing just fine. I don't think I, any, any of them have felt violence because they listened to a lecture on, on basic facts about our immigration system. The question was, have I asked people in this room if they've felt as though some violence has been committed on them? Uh, no, I haven't asked because no violence has been committed on you. Because violence is not a subjective feeling. Violence is an objective fact. I can objectively gauge whether or not someone has become violent. The other day, I was at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Some protester attacked me with some weird chemical. That was an objective act of violence. But somebody disagreeing with me, such as some people in this room are doing, are not committing violence on me. And I would say to you, as a faculty member at a taxpayer-funded university, this is the foundation of liberal education. If you cannot understand that there is a difference between speech and violence, you don't understand anything that undergirds the liberal arts or liberal education. And that is a real shame. This clip shows just how big the gap is between the left's worldview and the right's worldview. The right is concerned in dealing with objective realities. We're looking for the objective truth. Uh, we, we don't think that everything is subjective or not uh, mor morality is not subjective I think that's why a lot of conservatives tend to be Christian and believe in God or they at least believe in a strong moral principled code to live by whereas the left is trying to deal in subjective wishy-washy reality she thinks that uh, violence is something that could be subjectively felt by somebody uh, rather than an objective act that's being committed on them and this is just a very childish standard. It's a very childish way of looking at it. This wouldn't hold up in a court of law, right? That's what a court of law is. You're trying to bring all the facts, all the evidence together to get down to the objective truth about what happens in a given incident. Michael Knowles has to explain to this room full of teachers and college students this kindergarten concept that uh, violence is an objective thing that happens. It's not up for debate. It's not something that you feel one minute and, and don't feel another minute. It's something that actually does happen in the world of reality. Um, so it's unfortunate that he has to do this. I, I think that this, again, just shows how far away we are in our worldviews on these basic, basic things. I'm glad that he, he took the time to un untangle this and kind of expose their thinking. Let me know what you guys thought of this clip in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like and also consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching.